Hello, my beautiful souls, my lovely humans. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate that you are here. Come in and have a cup of coffee with me or whatever your favorite beverage is. I have some, I have tequila. I have water. <laughs> I have beer, <laughs> tea, um, milk. Anyway, today we're doing something special. We're going to shuffle on camera and I'm um, showing you my Janice Tarot. We did an unveiling or a, what is it called? An unpacking video. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called, but we're actually going to do a reading now. Um, thank you so much for being here. I'm Olivia, and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia, and we're going to do a little something different today. We're doing on-camera shuffling, and we're using my Janice Tarot deck. We're only going to do three piles today, but I think it's going to be fun, and it's really going to be interesting because you're going to get to look at this deck. And this deck is lovely. And I'll tell you, you can get your own deck if you go to the one, one like this. Hang on, let me see. Where do you go? You go to the inkmaiden.com. And I will put that link below in the description of this video with a way to contact me and all kinds of stuff. So, 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 so. Do you remember these are general readings? So take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make life-altering choices or decisions based on this or any other tarot pick a card video. Um, you can connect with me on Kane. I think I already told you that for a private reading. Information below. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start putting some cards down. Like I said, I'm going to make three piles. Oh, we are going to use the Moonology Oracle as well. Okay. First pile. Okay. Let me shuffle again. So I will have timestamps so you can skip ahead, but I do encourage you to pick more than one pile or pick them all. Why not, right? Why not? Life is short. Enjoy it, right? That's how I feel about it. <laughs> And if you know someone that think that you think of when you see this video and you kind of like, oh, you know, it would be really cool. I think they would like that. Make sure you tell them about me. Give them my link. Okay. All right. I'm really excited about this because this is actually the first um, readings that I've done with this beautiful deck. It's very inclusive. It's really exciting. Um, it's not something I could do on YouTube if I were monetized. They would say no. <laughs> You'll see why. You'll see why. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and do our moonology. And we, you can use your moonology um, as a card topper, okay, to choose your reading. Whoops. Okay, if you're liking this video so far, go ahead and like. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more and you want to find me again, do subscribe. If you want to know when I'm uploading videos, hit that notification bell. Do share this video with friends. But the most important thing I would really like from you is for you to come back. Come back and see me. I do improve. I've improved a lot since I started doing this over a year ago. Okay, so we were going to actually use the moon cards as a card topper. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them over so you can use that to choose. And the first one is, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. <laughs> okay, and these are timeless readings. This is, these are timeless readings. That means that when you, when you happen upon them, it's time. Okay, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Okay, so go ahead and take your time and pick your pile. We have, we'll, we'll just call them colored piles <clears throat> just to make it simple. So we'll say green, blue, and pink. It's kind of purple. I'm going to call it pink. And I'm going to have a sip of coffee while you look those over and decide which one you'd like to pick or... 
Like I said, you can pick them all. Mm. That coffee is delicious. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with You Are Good Enough, Full Moon and Virgo. And you know what? I want to look in my little book here. Because that Full Moon in Virgo, I don't really... It's got a better... There's more to it. That's why. Full Moon in Virgo, page 78. Okay. You are good enough. Um, it's time to be really honest with yourself and understand what's led you to ask your question. Have you been humble to the point of being self-effacing? Humility is good, but it can go too far. And drawing this card suggests you may be underrating yourself. You don't have to be flash, just quietly certain that you're good enough. At the under, other end of the scale, you also need to be uh, honestly answer this question. Have you been too picky? The full moon in Virgo... <laughs> okay, all right, let's move on. Uh, I don't like the negativity, like too picky. I don't... Virgos, I love you guys. I love that you're picky. Um, let's just skip that part, okay? Attune to the moon. Find balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your daily life. It also talks about trying not to worry so much. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we have. If you picked, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. You have these Janus cards. Five of wands. Six of pentacles. And seven of swords. Okay, so this is what's going on here. It really looks like... Let me get the feel of this. I hope that you can see these really well. Um, okay, so it seems like you're making a break for it. You might be leaving some things behind, some things that you don't need anymore, and moving forward, taking with you what you need. With the Six of Pentacles, it seems that you are... I, you know, I think you're making a good choice for yourself with the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. It very much looks like that you're getting used to your energies and, and figuring out what kinds of things are um, really helpful to you and what isn't. Um, the Six of Pentacles is suggesting success in your endeavors coming up. So we have you are good enough and we have you making the right choices. And you know what I want to say about this? I want to say let's get rid of that picky that was here earlier, it seems that you being picky has helped you move forward in the right way and making the right choices. So in this case, being picky was a good thing. <laughs> That's what I have for you today. Okay, let's go ahead and look in the next one. The personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. Full moon in cancer. Let's go ahead. Did we all get, we got all full moons, didn't we? That's kind of cool, I guess, right? <laughs> All right, let's full moon in Cancer, page 74. All right, a personal issue reaches resolution. Things are likely to get very heated as the full moon in Cancer is a super emotional sign. So, there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now surrounding your questions. It's important it's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around to tread carefully as you move towards your goals or dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up. Nothing to worry about, though. Also, it says <clears throat> with the full moon in Cancer that you might want to be a little more indirect about your path. Because crabs crawl sideways, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's see what else, what you have here. Your tarot cards. You have the page of wands moving forward, a new beginning. You have the lovers and you have the tower. This is a beautiful reading. This is beautiful. So this is all about growing together as a couple it doesn't necessarily, we're talking about the lovers, but the lovers aren't necessarily um, just lovers. But 
If this isn't resonating with you because of the lovers, go ahead and move on to the next one, and that's fine to do. What we have is two people going through an adventure together, and they're moving towards a new new commitment, new adventure. Um, the tower brings a lot of energies up to the forefront, and with the tower, it's time to make a choice. <laughs> it's time to to fall or fly, to jump or fly. Um, it usually has to do with coming to a place where um, usually there's a lot of energies going around and people sometimes fear the tower, but really it's a, an expression of something coming, something big, something, a big growth, a big chance for growth. And this with the lovers is growing together. And with the um, page of wands, it's your energy melding and moving forward. So it's a really exciting reading, especially for those of you who are in relationship. Um, actually, I do need to clarify here. <clears throat> um, this personal issue reaching a resolution is why I've read the positive and just the positive, but a tower, the tower can be quite... Um, difficult. Let's just, let's just say that. So it's an acknowledgement that things have been difficult, but a resolution is at hand. And that resolution looks like moving forward together is what it looks like. A win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. If you pick this card, we're going to do you next. Let's see what, oh, we're going to have to look in the book. It's not over on the back. Okay, full moon and Libra, they're all in the 70s. Let's just go to the 70s and see if we can find Libra. There's Leo, Virgo. What are we looking for? Libra. Here it is. The full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship are that an important existing relationship is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending, it's doing so at the right time. Okay, let's see what you have. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, and five of pentacles. Okay, yes. And when we put this in here, when we're thinking about a conclusion and possibly a conclusion to a relationship, uh, not conclusion, I'm sorry, that a win-win is forecast. It does look like we, <clears throat> excuse me, with the nine of pentacles, you are prepared for this. Even as emotional as it may be, whether it's an ending or a new beginning, you have prepared with the five of pentacles you have prepared but you're kind of looking at the at the negative part it's time to look at the bright side turn around and see and start really looking at the good parts and one of the good parts is this king of cups here the king of hearts and the king of hearts is um kind of a father figure a very loving loving energy um and with a win-win forecast, whatever's coming, try not to try to not to dwell on the dark parts of it. Know that you're ready. Know that you can handle this. You have prepared for this. And know there is love for you in the world, even if it comes from within, especially if it comes from within. Um, know that whatever happens, whatever's transpiring right now, as difficult as it may be, you're going to come out on top. So is the other person. <laughs> okay. So that is your reading from the Janus Tarot. I really expected. Um, are we going to put them all together? Not this time. I'm going to show you some more of the, of the Janus cards. I really expected it to be a little more risque. Because um, we do have some really um, interesting cards in this deck. I'm just showing them to you because they're really cool. Very inclusive. One of the most inclusive decks I've ever seen, even though I do tend to gravitate towards inclusive decks. 
Um, so anyway, I hope you like this reading. Um, I hope that we will see each other again very soon because I really, really do enjoy the connection that we have here. And I really look forward to seeing you again. Mwah! Until next time.